Hey folks, welcome to Keys Mods. This is David Fine. So today guys, what I'm gonna do, I am going to actually conduct a sting test. Which one of these two caterpillars stings worse? I have an Io moth and I have a buck moth. Both have stinging spines, guys. So if you, if you wanna zoom in, which one of these things you guys is gonna sting first? So guys, I'm gonna get, I'm actually going to have one sting me on one hand and one sting me on the other and i'm going to tell you guys which one of these actually hurts worse i can't believe i'm doing this guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications and give me the thumbs up um, i'm doing this so that you don't ever have to find out which one of these hurts worse guys stay tuned check it out Okay guys, so I've got an IO moth, which I've been stung by many times, and I can tell you right now, it does not feel good. I've had very little experience with the buck moth, and so guys, I, I do know they sting. Uh, I think I've been brushed up on by some of the smaller caterpillars, but I've never actually been full blown stung by a final instar caterpillar. Now, which one will sting worse? Which one will hurt worse? I, I have my guess, but I, I also know that, um, I know the IO moth hurts, guys. I've been stung. It, it definitely hurts. Uh, it's got, the IO moth, guys, has these, these, it's covered with green hypodermic needles on its back, and it's just covered with them. So guys, the IO moth, very common bug here down in Florida and probably throughout the rest of the United States. All year long, you can find this bug in Florida. I found this guy in my front yard on a bay tree. Uh, and they eat palms, they eat bays, they eat hibiscus, they eat all kinds of stuff. Uh, literally, I think there's a couple hundred different plants that the Io moth has been recorded to eat. So they're everywhere, they're in your gardens. The buck moth, uh, Hemaluca maya, is a little bit more rare and a little bit more elusive and they only show up once a year and they only eat oak. So they're a lot less likely that you're gonna run into one of these guys. Uh, a lot more likely you run into one of these. Now the Io moth, all these little hypodermic needles on its back. Guys, uh, let's see which one stings worse, shall we? So guys, literally what I'm gonna do is I'm going to touch my hand with the Io moth spine, his back, and then I'm gonna touch the other hand with the buck moth spine, and I'm gonna try and do it as close together as possible so that I can let you guys know what the pain is like and how long it lasts on each hand. So. Sophie, which one do you think I should do first? Um, let's do the rare one, the, the buck, buck moth. moth. First? Yeah. Okay, so Sophia is looking for me to do the buck moth first. The buck moth has got all these little orange branching spines on its back, and those, I believe, are where all the urticating hairs are. So what I'm gonna do, oh, don't hit myself with the aisle. Guys, right now, I am going to hit myself right here with buck moth spines. Ready, guys? Here we go. Ah, okay, yeah, I felt that. Uh, it hurts a little bit. Let me do it again, just to make sure that it's full effect. Okay, stings a little bit, guys. Okay, guys, now for the eye moth. The, the buck moth is stinging, it's burning a little bit. Not as bad, guys, I have a feeling this one's gonna hurt a lot worse. So here goes the Io moth, guys. This this thing has stung me many, many times. Here we go. Oh yeah, that one's worse. <sighs> okay. Does it leave a mark? Yeah, uh, it'll it'll probably swell up for a little bit. Okay, guys. Initially, I've now stung myself with the buck moth and the Io moth caterpillar, both on the palm, on kind of like the ball of my thumb. And so I'm gonna see if it, if it welts up. It, initially, the buck moth is a little bit of a sting and the Io moth is much more painful right off the bat than the buck moth. So that is definitely a, sting, a powerful sting, 
powerful, painful thing. You do not want to get nailed by these guys. Uh, very painful. And yet he did it willingly. And I do it willingly. All for you guys, all for you. Wow, okay. The Io Moth one is definitely staying worse. Um, literally guys, on my right hand, right now, there's, there's a burning sensation going from, from my palm up, up, or actually my ball of my thumb and going up my palm right here. And it, and it goes like deep into the muscle tissue. I feel the pain deep into the muscle tissue. The buck moth is just sort of like on the surface of the skin. Uh, I feel a little like an irritation, like an itch kind of thing, almost annoying. But the IO moth one is painful, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a full minute and in this, in this minute's time, I'm gonna look to see uh, if either of these have any further effects. So, guys, um, let me know, comment down below if you've ever been stung by a caterpillar. I know there's a couple other ones that sting. Uh, we have even the zebra longwing caterpillars and the gulf artilleries, they have urticating hairs, but they're more itchy more than stinging. But there's a few of them, like a pus moth. You do not want to get nailed by a pus moth caterpillar. It's a, a big brown or gray fuzzy thing. It almost kind of looks like a like a cute little teddy bear or something like that when you first see it. But uh, you do not want to get stung by one of those. And then there's the saddleback. Big time no-no. Don't get stung by one of those. And, oh, this guy's crawling. He's, don't sting me again. Once is enough, Mr. Io moth. Um, uh, yeah, so guys, don't want to get stung by those but I believe they're, a, they're pretty much the equivalent of the Io Moth um, sting. So guys, it's been, a, it's been a couple minutes since I've been stung and I can sh you can see right here, there's a little bit of uh, little white marks that are starting to form right here on my, uh, on my ball of my thumb not there. That, not that, not that, that's a scar, but it's definitely very painful right here. I can feel the pain right there and it goes all the way down into my thumb and that's definitely don't want that and the, the other thing about this guy the the io moth well actually both of them hang out they're both gregarious guys they both feed in clusters and uh and so if you get stung by one the chances are you're gonna get stung by many but um i'm gonna go put ice on my thumb now guys i hope you enjoyed it hope well, I hope you, hopefully you didn't enjoy me getting stung by caterpillars. I sure did. You, my, my daughter did. Well, thanks a lot for that. Uh, but hopefully you learned something. Hopefully uh, this is something that has been at least interesting or educational. Guys, don't hesitate to share this video with your friends. Uh, subscribe down below. Hit the bell for notifications. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Super important. Also, I got a website. It's www.keysmoths.com. Keysmoths.com. On that website, we've got all 600 moths of the Florida Keys that we found documented there and photographed for you, plus 100 butterfly species of the Florida Keys. So almost 700 species of Lepidoptera, all there for you with all the life cycle stuff. If I have caterpillar, sh oh, this guy's trying to crawl on me again. No thanks. Uh, all with life, life cycle uh, stuff there for you. And guys, are oh, you wanna crawl on me? Okay, he wants to crawl on me. You didn't hurt that bad. So I'll let you crawl on me. This is my buck moth, guys. Isn't he cute? Guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Until next time, uh, watch out for stinging caterpillars and enjoy South Florida. Take care.